Hello. Ah, okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Hello. Check. Okay. okay. Oh, it's no. Oh, okay. it's works okay. now. Good. Hmm. Oh. Oh, you should. Ah, yeah. It's okay. Okay. Hello. Okay. So we are happy to introduce. Uh, the next two speakers, it's Liang Chen and Chi Dan He, who will be doing a talk uh, shooting the o shooting OSXL Capitan Colonel like a sniper. Okay. Uh, thanks, everyone, and uh, uh, good afternoon. And uh, I'm happy to uh, uh, be presenting uh, Recon uh, 2016, to, uh, which is uh, uh, 10th anniversary. And uh, uh, my talk today is shooting the OSX uh, EL Captain Colonel like a sniper. So uh, why we uh, use uh, the term sniper is because of three reasons. The first, uh, our team uh, founded a team called uh, Tencent Security Sim Team Sniper and uh, 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 with uh, Tencent uh, PC Manager Team. And uh, th this team actually won the uh, master of Pong uh, in uh, Pong Tong two, uh, 2016. And uh, the second reason is that uh, we actually do, doing the Pong Tong event, we, uh, we, we do a Safari a remote exploit, and finally we got root privilege. And the third reason is that we, uh, from one of our exploits, uh, the kernel uh, bug we used uh, is very likely to be a sniper because uh, the vulnerable buffer uh, is very far away from the buffer that we are targeting. Uh, so uh, it needs very precise uh, uh, memory layouting. And uh, in this talk, we will, um, we will uh, talk about some, something about uh, exploited technologies in EL Captain. Uh, so first, uh, we will introduce, uh, introduce ourselves. So my name is Liang Chen, and uh, I'm a senior security engineer in King Lab. Uh, and uh, uh, my main focus is browser uh, vulnerability research, uh, including iOS kernel and uh, sandbox escape. And also, I did something about enjoy the root. So, uh, Flanker will introduce uh, himself. My name is Qi Lanhe, and I'm also a senior security researcher at King Lab. And uh, my main focus are uh, sandbox escape and uh, mobile security, including Android and iOS. Uh, both at the uh, Yodeland and the kernel. Okay, thank you. So our agenda today includes uh, 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 something we will talk about, uh, OSX kernel exploitation mitigation uh, introduced uh, uh, before EL Captain and after EL Captain. And also, uh, Qi Danhe will uh, uh, talk about uh, uh, the new approach that uh, we found to exploit some uh, not perfect bug after EL Captain. And uh, finally, we will do a demo uh, to wrap up our, uh, our talk. So uh, to uh, uh, quickly go, uh, go through the mitigation, the first, uh, KASLR. This is uh, very uh, common in uh, the modern uh, OS. Uh, I think uh, both Windows, uh, Linux, and OS X has the KASLR in the in, uh, kernel to randomize the, the kernel uh, load uh, address. And also uh, there is uh, DEP, which is data uh, uh, execution prevention to disallow the kernel RWX page. And also uh, SMEP, SMAP. SMAP is a, a mitigation method to disallow kernel uh, code execution directly from the user land. So that after that, you, you will need to leak some pointers in the uh, kernel uh, instead of uh, do, uh, executing shell code in the user uh, land directly. Okay, so after uh, EL Captain, actually, uh, SMAP is also uh, introduced. And the SMAP actually is more advanced uh, than the current Windows mitigation because uh, as far as we know that Windows doesn't have SMAP implemented at this moment. But on uh, EL Captain, it is implemented. But before that, we also need some support on the C CPU architecture. So uh, we can use the uh, uh, command uh, Sys uh, control to to uh, check whether our uh, CPU supports 
uh, map or not. So uh, we can find uh, it's, it is in leaf seven feature. So uh, from a non-supported scenario, uh, only SEM SMAP is listed. And uh, uh, from uh, the new MacBook, uh, we can find that uh, the SMAP, uh, SMAP, SMAP is also listed. Uh, this uh, kind of CPU architecture includes uh, the latest model of MacBook and the uh, new MacBook. Uh, MacBook Pro and the new MacBook. Yeah, so uh, we have some uh, mitigations uh, uh, introduced by EL Captain as uh, also. Uh, this uh, includes mainly for info leak technologies. So before EL Captain, we actually uh, have uh, the VM map copy uh, approach to leak some uh, some kernel uh, kernel addresses. Uh, so uh, before EL Captain, we can find that uh, if we use the OL to uh, send the message. Uh, to, to, to the kernel, actually, uh, we will have this uh, VM map copy uh, structures, which uh, includes two uh, key, uh, key fields. One field is uh, key data, which you can modify it uh, using a, a overflow vulnerability to modify key data to uh, something else, so, so that when you receive that uh, OL message, you can read uh, w whatever you want. Uh, so uh, this is one, and another is the size field. You can modify the size so that uh, you can read out of bound. So uh, this is before uh, before EL Captain and uh, in introduced by EL Captain uh, ten point eleven. Uh, actually, you can find that the K data point actually is moved, and uh, instead it uh, used the inline the structure, which uh, the data will directly append it. Uh, after VM map copy uh, metadata struct. So uh, after that, uh, there is no such pointer, so you cannot uh, modify that pointer. But uh, uh, still, there is some, uh, some uh, ways to bypass this. So first, uh, even if we cannot do uh, arbitrary uh, memory read, uh, we can still uh, try to uh, use the you use the uh, overflow vulnerability to increase the size field so that we can uh, put another important object after that uh, struct and then try to try to read the v table out so that we can bypass the case slide uh, you, we can leak the case slide to bypass kslr uh, another appro approach is uh, in uh, is funded by by uh, Luca, uh, which he suggests that we can uh, increase the size field and uh, try to read it out, so that that uh, VM map copy T struct will be freed to another zone, so that you can play uh, uh, with the uh, zone uh, alloc and uh, dealloc uh, again and again in the uh, in, in, later on. But uh, after uh, EL Captain uh, 10.11.1, uh, actually another mitigation is introduced. You can find that uh, if you use any vulnerability to modify the size field of uh, OOL, uh, the, the VM map struct, then you try to receive the data, and then you will find that the, uh, the kernel will, be, uh, will panic uh, immediately. So let's see what happened. So uh, here you can see that uh, uh, there are two structures. Uh, struct. One is the mark message OL descriptor, which you describe uh, OL message uh, in the kernel before you receive it. And, and uh, in this uh, struct, there is a field called address, which points to a VM map copy uh, struct. And uh, uh, you can find that both struct has a field uh, named sites, uh, so that uh, when you try to receive the OL message, it will do a check. Uh, to see if these two sides field matches. If uh, it mismatch um, or uh, the, the sides, uh, the OL uh, uh, descriptor message uh, sites uh, does not equal to, uh, to, to the VM map copy sites, then it will do a, a panic uh, immediately. But if it finds uh, it is uh, equal, 
uh, which passed the check, then it will call uh, the next function to copy uh, out the memory to the user mode. So here it introduced a new problem, which is talk to, uh, to time of check to time of use. So uh, you can uh, assume that the first check by uh, is passed, and uh, in between two sentences, you can uh, uh, try to use another uh, thread to try to, uh, to try to do an all over flow to that size. So if that uh, succeeds, the race succeeds, then you, you can bypass this mitigation. So, uh, but uh, uh, overall, uh, the in mitigation introduced by Apple in EL Captain is very effective. Uh, although we have the total issue still exists, it is not very reliable because the time window in between two sentences is very short. If you fail to raise uh, to to get uh, uh, some some uh, instructions uh, to execute in between two sentences in another thread, uh, then you will uh, receive a panic which is not very reliable. Uh, so uh, such mitigation uh, will require us um, harder uh, to exploit the kernel, uh, kernel uh, especially you don't have a separate uh, info leak vulnerability. And also, uh, if you want uh, to exploit uh, the EL captain, uh, I think before uh, our bugs uh, in, in the public, we can find all of them uh, are kind of perfect uh, overflow vulnerability, which means uh, you need to uh, uh, you need a overflow vulnerability and its length and its uh, uh, written content are both controllable. So uh, in many cases, such vulnerability, um, we will have some non-perfect ones, uh, which we have to give up uh, before that. So let's look at the uh, uh, kernel exploitation requirement in OSX. First, of course, you need to leak the case light so that you, uh, you can bypass the KSLR. And uh, uh, currently, uh, you, uh, Apple did a lot of mitigation on it. And also you need to uh, leak some address pointers to of controllable data. Uh, this is uh, previously done by Mark Port K object, but uh, this is also mitigated actually before the uh, ER captain. And even worse, uh, even worse thing is that uh, we, we uh, actually need a very perfect bug to achieve those. Uh, and also, uh, uh, because we, we uh, you, you know, in Ponton 2016, we actually uh, targeting uh, the browser. So uh, not only your bug uh, need to be triggered by the browser, because the browser has a very strict sandbox uh, context, and also uh, your exploitation method also need uh, to to be reachable uh, from a remote attack surface. So this requires uh, higher exploitation technologies. So uh, even uh, sometimes we, we may have some non-perfect bug, like uh, you can write or you can overflow, but the value you overflow or the value you do uh, OOB write is not a arbitrary value. Actually, it is, has some limitation. Uh, so if that is the case, uh, you will get uh, even more trouble. Uh, so uh, it reminded me, actually, the hard time of the internet exploitation in uh, the year 2012, where I think uh, it is very unlikely to, for you to exploit uh, UAF or, or something uh, similar, which is not very perfect. So uh, another thing that I need to think about is uh, memory spring. So uh, for memory spring, uh, what uh, reminds me is the heap spray on the browser side, uh, which is very reliable, extremely, uh, and especially in 32-bit uh, systems, because uh, the reason is that the memory at that time is much larger than the, uh, the address space because on a 32-bit system, uh, the address space uh, is four gigabytes, but your memory is larger than that. So you can do some uh, test. But uh, on, uh, you can do a lot of uh, allocation on duplicate uh, values so that on a specific and a fixed value you can get your uh, reliable uh, controlled data. 
And uh, on 64-bit system, it will be less effective. This is because that if you uh, try to malloc, uh, malloc some memory a lot of times, you can see that on Mac OS system, the fifth byte is always different and uh, uh, relatively random. So that you need uh, 20, uh, uh, 256 uh, multiple by uh, 4 gigabyte to have a reliable uh, reliable uh, heap spring, uh, which is not likely uh, at the current uh, situation. So uh, let's think about the memory spring also in kernel, uh, because uh, although the VM map copy structure is mitiga uh, mitigated a lot, uh, its uh, feature, it has still uh, some good features for uh, the memory spring, because before you receive the data, actually, uh, the OOL data will, keeping, uh, will keep in kernel before you receive it. And also, uh, you, you can consider that uh, although the OSX uh, kernel is 64 bit, uh, bit and actually the uh, address space is very larger, much larger than uh, the physical memory, uh, so it looks like uh, unachievable. Uh, but uh, if you research into it more detailedly, uh, you will find it is still possible because uh, it depends on two uh, questions. First, is uh, the OSX kernel address really uh, address space really large? Although the space is large, but uh, how about uh, it? Uh, what address it actually choose, or it is really random or not? So uh, after we research the, uh, uh, the, the address, we, we can find that uh, first, the kernel and the KEXT test base is very dependent uh, on the case light. So its uh, load address is actually a very fixed base plus the case light, which uh, is less than uh, 512 MB, uh, the megabyte. So uh, this, uh, uh, th this uh, uh, range is much smaller than current physical memory size. And another is also uh, the uh, kernel database, uh, which is very likely uh, very similar as the uh, test base. So, uh, and also we found that uh, uh, when, when you do the calloc, uh, uh, calloc uh, allocation of memory, actually uh, we can find uh, the start of that address is uh, can be found at uh, zoommap.hdr.links.start. And uh, we, we try to unslide that uh, memory address uh, upon each, bo uh, each boot. And uh, uh, based on our uh, statistics, we can find that the unslide uh, value of that address is very close. Which means that, 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 and also the allocation start from the lower side to the high, higher side. So which is very good. And uh, we can uh, use, uh, try to uh, do the spraying with uh, OOL uh, with uh, more than uh, 512 megabyte uh, multiple by two, which is one gigabyte. So if we do uh, one gigabyte of OOL spraying, we can uh, do a very reliable uh, uh, memory spraying, uh, which means you can have the controllable data at a very fixed address. So uh, the, th this graph uh, actually sh uh, shows that uh, we, we, uh, with uh, more than one gigabyte of spraying, you can find that uh, at a very fixed uh, address, uh, the, you, you can uh, have uh, controllable data. So uh, after we, re uh, we found that, uh, we, we should ask us, uh, ourselves why we need spraying. So spray, uh, if you have a very a good approach of memory spraying, actually you have uh, uh, you got a workaround to leak some calloc address because uh, to bypass the SMAP and the SMAP, you have to use uh, to leak some uh, kernel address and uh, on those address you need some uh, controllable data uh, to, uh, to prepare the ROP chain or something like that. And another reason, uh, bef uh, besides those reasons, uh, there are also some very good uh, features which uh, Flank will, uh, will introduce later uh, to help our sniper to, to realize the final pawn. So we will introduce a case study. Uh, Flank. OK. OK. 
Okay, uh, hello everyone, and uh, uh, I will start introducing the uh, detailed case study, uh, the CV 2016-18-15, uh, uh, and we named it as the Blizzard, and uh, this is the kernel bug we used in this year's uh, Ponton competition, and uh, this bug uh, lies in the IO accelerator family, and uh, we believe that uh, it uh, exists in the all MacBook models, and uh, even since the birth of MacBooks and also IMAX or IMAX Pros and uh, also other models. Uh, I will not elaborate about the detail of this bug here because uh, the time is not, not enough, but uh, I will uh, do a brief introduction on the impact of this bug. Uh, the final impact of this bug uh, is a vector right that will go uh, out of bounds uh, after certain uh, carefully prepared uh, situations in the carefully prepared memory and uh, in like uh, we need uh, like eight IO kit calls to trigger this bug. And uh, the uh, vulnerable memory allocation lies in the KLOC uh, 48 block. And uh, the image in the bottom of this uh, presentation shows the uh, uh, memory layout uh, when the bug is triggered. Uh, we can see that uh, uh, the first uh, six, uh, six blocks are, uh, uh, blocks are uh, zone. Uh, lies in the 48 zone and its uh, allocation contains the originally IG vector and uh, which has the size, capacity and the storage field. And uh, we can prepare a carefully controlled 48 block after this uh, benign 48 block and uh, place, some, place some fake IG vector there. And uh, the vulnerable function will finally go into the IG vector add and it will lead to an OB write. And in this function, we can see that uh, uh, some values, uh, some actually float values are retrieved from a, a structure named the rect rectangle pair T. Uh, the rectangle pair T actually consists of two rectangles and it's uh, like eight floats. And each float, uh, due to the limitation of this bug, bug's nature, each float must be in range like uh, negative FFFF to positive FFFF in hex format. And the overwrite will start uh, at a storage pointer uh, plus uh, 24 plus the size of set at a, the ends at a storage. We can see that this write is a descending for is a descending fashion. And uh, uh, another thing we need to know that in IEEE 7553 uh, uh, format, that uh, the floats in range FFFF is actually represented in like a, a 3F8000. Uh, starts from uh, this value and ends at of uh, four seven seven ff zero zero, and uh, the uh, negative the negative part of this uh, flows uh, is represented in uh, bf eight zero zero and uh, uh, c seven seven ff zero zero, and uh, this is uh, an in memory repetition of these two flows. And with this knowledge in mind, uh, we will now introduce the generic exploration approach uh, for this non-perfect uh, OB write. So, uh, as Liang had introduced uh, before, that uh, if you get a perfect uh, write anything anywhere vulnerabilities, uh, it's uh, somehow uh, it is harder to exploit it in it, to exploit it in modern exploitation. But uh, it's uh, it's not a very big uh, problem. But if you, if you get a uh, right restricted something anywhere vulnerability, just uh, uh, like the Blizzard vulnerability, and uh, you can only write uh, eight floats uh, continuously in this range. And uh, like the value, the Q word you can write uh, only begins like in 3F and in 47, or it begins at a BF and in C7. And uh, with this vulnerability, how can you achieve a reliable exploitation. So, uh, how to turn it into an RP control? And uh, you, you, ha you have to ask. Uh, we have to ask ourselves: uh, Where do we write? And uh, what do we write? And uh, how can we ensure stability, especially for competitions like Ponton? And uh, we must uh, make the exploration technique reachable in sandbox. And uh, how can we defeat the uh, uh, modern ex uh, mitigations like uh, KSLR and? Uh, uh, like uh, SMAP and uh, SMEP, and uh, can we pawn the kernel just to use this single uh, non-perfect uh, OB bug? Uh, the answer is yes, it's hard, but it's not impossible. 
so uh, we have several challenges that uh, uh, the first thing comes in mind uh, for a skilled uh, OSX kernel exploitation uh, researcher. Uh, he may think of overwriting a VM map copy lens. Uh, but has, as, Leon has, as Leon said uh, in the previous slides, Apple has fixed it in uh, 10, uh, introduced some uh, medications in the 10.11.1, uh, although we still have ways to bypass it, but it's not applicable to our vulnerability because the Blizzard vulnerability requires a continuously, we can see that it is a continuously right uh, a descending from high address to low address, and uh, it will uh, override, if we choose to overwrite the lens in the VM map copy, uh, we will uh, definitely overwrite the header, also overwrite the header of VM map copy, and uh, it will lead to a kernel panic. Also, we can see that uh, the value, the keyword we write is not very perfect because uh, the two address, uh, 3F and BF in kernel, is not a valid address, or, or, or you can see it's not a reachable address in the kernel. So uh, we cannot overwrite the VM map copy lens to do some exploitation, and uh, we can think of exploit, uh, we can overwrite some uh, like uh, a heap location uh, or some other addresses. And the first, uh, we may think of uh, overwriting some like a heap location or table pointer location. Uh, if we do uh, aligned eight bytes aligned right, uh, for example, we overwrite a heap location. Uh, we can see that uh, we, we, we overwrite the heap location with some BF is zero, zero, zero. And of course, it will not work because the BF is zero address does not exist, is not a valid address in the kernel address space. Uh, but if we do a uh, Four bytes, four byte aligned right. That's overwriting the low four bytes of this heap address or v table pointer address. Then we can uh, turn it into a valid uh, overwrite. And uh, uh, thanks to the x64 architecture that allows us to uh, do a four byte or even one byte uh, uh, element right in a move instruction. So uh, we can see that in this uh, rec uh, in this in instruction like uh, move rx uh, plus rsi plus uh, 18 and we move, we write rcx to this location and the rex and the rsi are both controllable by us uh, the, but the rcx is uh, is limited to the range we have discussed before so another problem is uh, why not we overwrite some v table pointer at the head of some user clients uh, we do, we do not choose this approach because in most of user clients, the high bytes are starting at FF, 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 7F. And this is not the high bytes of heap addresses because in kernel, uh, in the OSX kernel, the heap address usually have a high bytes of FF, 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 80. So if we overwrite the v table pointer, uh, we will not, we cannot get it to redirect some the address we can control. So we cannot, uh, we, do, we cannot overwrite some vitable pointer to get RP control. Uh, but there is an exception. The root domain user client, uh, it has a vitable pointer starting uh, whose, uh, whose fourth byte is 80. But, uh, it, but its size is too small. Uh, the, it, if its size is too small, uh, there may be some, it will introduce new obstacles for our exploitation. The first is uh, we prefer to spray or allocate some uh, big user clients uh, whose size is multi n multiply page size to ensure that uh, its v table pointer will be, will be located at the starting of a page and uh, will make this uh, which makes this address more predictable and also uh, small user clients will introduce uh, spray speed issues and uh, in our, uh, we observed that uh, the spray speed of user clients decreases as the user client counts increases and the people may ask why. And uh, in this kernel stack trace uh, of opening new user clients, we can see that uh, in the I.O. service, new user client, it will finally cause into some I.O. registry uh, attached, to attached to parent and attached to child, and finally into the array member. And this is a feature of the I.O. registry plane that each I.O. user client needs to link to their parent I.O. service and their parents uh, maintains a collection of all its children. And uh, we can see that in this function named uh, attached to parent, uh, it will finally 
uh, the, the need parent flag will be finally need to set to true, and uh, in the if it's set to true, it will cause to parent attach child uh, when in which the parent I/O service uh, adds the uh, new user client to its collection. And the, we can see that it, it, the collection is maintained in a format of OS array, and the array member performs a linear search in this uh, in this OS array. So uh, anyone with uh, with some fundamental data structure or algorithm technology uh, will will realize that uh, the total time complexity here is uh, O n square complexity. And uh, what makes things worse is that uh, we see we see the set object function in the make links that. Uh, uh, the new OS object, uh, thus the user, user client is inserted into the OS array, and uh, it, its capacity need to be ensured, uh, it, which means that OS array need to be expanded if its capacity is not enough. But if it's expanded, uh, we can see that uh, there are some allo allocating, freeing, uh, allocating, copying, and freeing uh, occurs, occur here. And uh, this will make the uh, total uh, new user client uh, the total time cost uh, by a single new user client uh, uh, function. It will make the time much longer. And uh, we do a static uh, analysis here. We can see, and we can see that the total spray time is increasing in uh, like in a uh, Owen square uh, time constant. It is very obvious that uh, the time increases very much uh, as the uh, as the user client count your spray increases. So it's a pity that it's in uh, two, 2016 now, and we still have a own square time complexity function in the core of the op in the core of a modern operating system. And we hope the Apple engineers uh, will fix that to make our spray faster. <laughs> and uh, so that, uh, now let's go back to our exploitation. And uh, uh, we know that uh, we cannot overwrite the weightable pointers, and uh, but. Uh, a uh, Heyman ML accelerator, and uh, we have a field, we have a pointer field in the user clients that we can overwrite. Because we can see that in nearly all our, our accelerator family to user clients, they have a service pointer associated, and it's a point to Intel accelerator. And the, the Intel accelerator is actually the rep representative of the, uh, the graphics, uh, graphics driver itself. And uh, it's, uh, it's located in the also in a k eight one nine two zone, and it's also hip, it's a hip location that is uh, whose uh, fourth byte is eight zero, and it is perfect for our to over, overwrite. And it also contains a virtual uh, function calls for us to obtain RP control, and we can overwrite it and point it to a controllable memory. We we use OLR message to spray. Uh, uh, we can see that in this uh, screen, this screenshot, it is a memory layout of a uh, IGXL video contest, and we can see that uh, at the offset of five to eight, uh, there is a heap address, and uh, this is actually the heap address of the Intel accelerator, and we can modify, we can overwrite it. But another problem arises arise is that we cannot directly call the a uh, fake the fake service, the fake Intel Accelerator's virtual function, because we know that the head of VM map copy is something we cannot control. It is uh, determined by the uh, VM map copy type itself, uh, and uh, we cannot uh, use it uh, use the head of it as a weightable uh, weightable address to locate some virtual function calls. Uh, so we need an indirect virtual function call, and the selector zero, the context finish function is our superstar because it contains the uh, indirect virtual function call in the service uh, point to M event machine and uh, it will cause context finish. So uh, now we uh, have, it seems that we have uh, ways of RP control and we need some ways to prepare memory. And uh, the, the steps of the memory printing is the list as follows. Uh, first, we, we will spray some like uh, 50,000 OR messages, and uh, all of them are size are two, a double page size. And the push, uh, pushing heap, we will push up the heap covering the two, towering two key address. Uh, one, of the, one of them is uh, a BF80, and uh, we can see this is the float repre representation of a negative, negative one. And uh, 
uh, why we choose this address? We, why we don't choose the address starting with CF, or with C, or like uh, starting with three, or starting with four? Uh, because uh, KSR will push heap location up or pu push heap location down at each boot, and it's determined by a key slide. And uh, uh, we, but in our observation that uh, this address, BF is zero, it is a fixed, stable, fixed point address, uh, reachable in spring. And uh, some higher address, like a address started with C, is not applicable because it's too high. And uh, we will free a middle part of the OOL message and fill it with the IGXL video context, uh, whose size is also double page size. And we will cover another key address that is address, we named it as address A, that is 6238000. And we'll perform a write using the Blizzard vulnerability at the service pointer uh, descending, and uh, we'll point it to an uh, OL message uh, we, whose content we can control. And we will call all the, uh, we'll, we'll in, do in a for loop, we'll call each IGXL video contest external method and uh, if one and one of them, if one of them is corrupted, and we, when we call this one's uh, external method, like a context finish, uh, the RP will be redirected, and we will get a, a control of the uh, control flow. And this is some snippet code for the spray. And uh, in 10.11.3, uh, the offset was uh, 2030, so we uh, we are using 2030 at this moment. Uh, so. Uh, the same that we now have a perfect approach for RP control, and uh, we by spring we know that uh, at address A, uh, which is uh, which is BF uh, FF 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 eight zero BF eight zero 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 zero, and uh, it is covered. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the, this is address B. Address B is covered by the VM map copy content, and the content the the content we can control it uh, when we do spring, and the address A. Uh, starting with the FF, 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 A0, uh, 6, 2, 3, uh, or whatever, it is uh, covered with IGXL video contest. And uh, with this in mind, with these two uh, address in mind, we can move further to InfoLeak. And uh, uh, there is an interesting function in the IGXL video contest, whose name is Get Hardware Steppings. And uh, it's, uh, the function is actually very simple, and uh, we can see that in line 6 to line 9, it returns some particular particular of set content in the service in the Intel accelerator itself. But the line 10 is very interesting because it retrieved some address at the offset 1288 in the Intel accelerator, and it will return the value at this address uh, to you. Uh, we, can, we, we know that we have pointed the uh, corrupted IG vector, uh, I'm sorry, IG video contest uh, uh, so service pointer to uh, control the VMAP copy content. So the line nine and the line line uh, starting from line six to line nine will only return the content in the VMAP copy, and the content is known by us because we prepare the content. But line ten, if we prepare some address at the offset one two eight eight, it means that we can get an arbitrary address read from this uh, from this uh, particular s statement. And this is our, it is a very useful, uh, in, useful statement. So now we, we come up with a, a initial leaking strategy that uh, we know that uh, by spring we have ensured that A lies on, in address A it lies on IG Excel video contest, and at B it lies on VMAP copy, whose content we have already known because we spread it. And we all write a service pointer to B, and it, it will, the service pointer will point to the VMAP copy. And we, we, when we will do spring, we fill the VM map, map copy with 414141. And we know that the code uh, here from 6 to 9, it will return us with 414141. And we can use it as a, as a needle to detect. And uh, the tenth statement will return us a byte at uh, an address we specified at uh, the offset 1288. So, uh, Here's the figure, and uh, we believe the figure will help us to understand it more clearly. And uh, this is the initial layout uh, before the vulnerability has been triggered, uh, but after the memory layout has been prepared. We can see that in normal situations, uh, in, uh, by spring, that uh, we, we can ensure that uh, an IG Excel video contest, uh, it begins at address uh, A, 
uh, and uh, we can see that uh, as offset 5 to 8, uh, it uh, has a pointer, pointer to an uh, Intel oscillator, uh, who is also on the heap, and, they, and uh, in some high address, uh, for example, at address B, there lies some VMAP copy, and uh, they are all at uh, uh, KR log uh, 8192, which is double page size zone. And uh, we trigger the Blizzard vulnerability, and uh, we all write the uh, service field, and we make it pointed to this uh, thread that control the content. And uh, uh, how do we fill this content? And uh, this can be explained in this figure that uh, uh, the blue zone, the blue uh, rectangle, is some something we cannot control. It is the header of VMAP copy, uh, but in other uh, in other uh, address, for example, in this uh, white. Uh, rectangles, we fill it with 41411, and uh, the needle, the needle address, uh, who, is, who, who, who are illustrated by some uh, like a brown, a brown rectangles, it is a needle, and uh, it, uh, it, is a, it corresponds to the line 9, to line, to line 6, and to line 9 of the get hardware steppings. It will return the content, or it will return 4141, and we will use it as a needle. Uh, and the gray, the gray zone, the gray rectangle, is an address that we actually want to read. The, the, we can specify some address here, and we use it to do an arbitrary read, and we make it a point back to the IGXL video contest, which means that we can read the head of the IGXL video contest and get a visible pointer address. So, uh, it looks uh, somehow uh, perfect, but uh, I think uh, some of you may have, may have questions now that uh, how can you ensure that uh, the IGXL video contest uh, whose size is double page, uh, how can you ensure that uh, it uh, will begin at address A? Uh, why, not it can, why cannot it begin at address A plus uh, page size? So uh, it, is, it is an object uh, whose size is double page and uh, you cannot uh, ensure, you cannot, you cannot say that uh, it uh, will must uh, fall at address A or for that address A plus page size. There is a 50 to 50 chance uh, for both of them. So also for the VMAP copy, you, you also cannot ensure that uh, the VMAP copy whose size is double page, it will fall that uh, the address B or address B plus page size. Uh, you cannot be sure that. So we need to, uh, if, if you only uh, use one address, and you can only you can only get a 50 uh, success rate. So we need to write twice to ensure a 100% success rate. So we do an OB write both at A and A plus uh, page size. And we when we are preparing the content of VMAP copy, uh, we write some we write the address of address both at uh, uh, 1288 and 1288 minus page size. That is 288. And uh, I think this can also be is explained in the a, in a figure more clearly. Uh, this is the ideal content, this is the ideal situation that uh, in address A, uh, IG, uh, IG Excel video contest start here, and in address B, uh, VMAP copy start here. And what if the force, the address A falls right in the middle of an IG Excel video contest? And uh, in other words, the IG Excel video contest uh, begins at address A minus page size. And so, by by writing twice, we can ensure that uh, the uh, at least one of these two IGXL video contests will have their service pointer corrupted. Uh, for this situation, uh, we do a double write. Uh, we will over, we will corrupt the IGXL video contest starting at address A. And in this situation, we can see that uh, the IGXL video contest starting at address A minus page size. It is not corrupted because we have already written some meaningless field starting at 1528. But the, the IGXL video contest starting at address A plus page size, it is corrupted and we can use it to continue our exploitation. And also for this VMAP copy, and what if the VMAP copy, it, uh, the address B uh, falls in the middle of the VMAP copy, it does not begin at address B. And uh, we can also do a double uh, prepare and uh, uh, in the content of VMAP copy. And uh, for example, in this situation, if address B is right in the middle of the VMAP copy, and uh, we can, w as we prepare the two locations, uh, both at 1140 and 1288, 
and also at uh, the two address minus its page size. And uh, we can see that uh, the IG Excel video contest will happily use the memory content starting at uh, BF80, which is address B, and uh, starting B plus two page size. And use this content as a fake Intel accelerator, and uh, it will uh, retrieve the content here and uh, as a, as a, as a uh, arbitrary address read. And uh, as we have already prepared some address here, and we can still do our info leak uh, technique, uh, for, we, we can still point it back to the address A. Oh, we can see here the problem. If we point it back to address A, we are not reading the vtable content. We are reading in the middle of the IGXL video contest, which means actually it's zero. It's not a useful content. So how can we solve this problem? Actually, uh, thanks to the feature of VMAP copy that uh, we can do a, a refill, a free and a refill of this VMAP copy, which means that uh, if we do a read at address A and we found it's zero, it means that uh, we need to read address A plus page size. And we, just, uh, we can just uh, free this VMAP copies and we, we refill it with the, the, gray, the gray rectangle modified and uh, modified with the address A plus page size so that we can still read out the table point address and uh, continue our exploitation. Uh, so uh, now we have uh, explained our strategy of the InfoLeak, uh, uh, InfoLeak solution and uh, is uh, the overall uh, steps that can be, can be seen in this figure that uh, first uh, we fill the o we prepare the heap layouts and uh, fill the OR messages and uh, f also fill the fill OR messages, uh, free some of them and uh, fill in the IGXL video contest. And uh, we trigger the IO connect call. If the leaked byte is zero, I mean, it means that we, have, we, we need to adjust uh, the read address by a page size and we will replace uh, the OR messages with, uh, with the address uh, plus a page size. And uh, as we can recall that in the function get hardware steppings, uh, at each time only, uh, only one byte is leaked out here. So we need to do like uh, eight info leaks and uh, we rep repeat the steps and uh, let n uh, equals n plus one byte and uh, we do a free and refill the OR messages until we leak the, all the eight bytes of the virtual pointer of this, uh, K, of this KST. And uh, with this, uh, KIT is a virtual, uh, virtual uh, table pointer in hand, and we refill the OR message with this address, and we use it to leak a kernel of set. Uh, it is because that uh, if we leak out the virtual table a pointer of the KST, uh, it is actually in the data, the address is actually in the data section of the our accelerator family. And uh, to do uh, RP, and to execute some root commands, we need the address of the kernel itself. So we, uh, we, ch we choose to leak the address of the OS object release function, which is the first function of all OS objects so virtual tables. And uh, this uh, function is actually in the text section of the kernel, so that we can use it to uh, get the kernel of set text section of set leak. Uh, so. Actually, there is some better way it exists, and uh, we will leave it as the access for readers. Uh, actually, it uh, didn't need to be so complex. So uh, to, to recap it uh, with uh, both the InfoLeak technology and uh, uh, both the uh, RP control that uh, we get a, a whole uh, look of this, our exploitation. And uh, first, uh, we spray like some two gigabytes our messages and uh, tented with uh, 4141 and uh, prepare some uh, address we want to read at the two offsets. And also we free some middle pass of OERs and fill it with actual weak tail contest and trigger OB write. And we iterate all the open user clients and uh, call the get hardware steppings and uh, to look for 4141. If we get a 4141, uh, this IGXL video contest is uh, definitely the one that is corrupted and uh, we can use it uh, to, uh, the, the one corrupted means that it is located uh, at address A, or it's located at address A plus one, uh, plus one page size. So we can use it uh, to do for further exploitation. And uh, 
uh, we'll ad advance the relocation one byte by one and uh, to get a vitable uh, uh, address of the KST and also the kernel's uh, text section address of that. And uh, we will finally, we will refill the OR messages with RP chain and uh, we will call contest finish to do the RP control. And finally, we'll do a point here. Uh, so actually, we can see that uh, the info leak uh, steps are much more complicated uh, uh, than the RP control and uh, and uh, this will, this thanks to the mitigation introduced by the OSX kernel that makes our work much more harder. So in a conclusion, uh, we have discussed uh, previous exploration techniques and uh, their exploitation uh, like uh, mitigations uh, by the uh, by IPO, and uh, we have presented a new generalized exploration technique uh, working that uh, even you have a not so good uh, a restricted OB write, you can still use it to get uh, like 100% uh, sta stable uh, kernel root exploit. And uh, we can see that, uh, uh, except uh, we can see that the, like the get hardware steppings function and uh, like the uh, contest finish function and also the sprays, uh, it, these are all legitimated, legitimated features in the OSX kernel and uh, it is not related to any vulnerability. And which means that we can adopt it to other OB write vulnerabilities or even heap overflow vulnerabilities. And uh, so this is, we call it a generalized uh, exploitation approaches. Uh, so here, and uh, uh, we want to credit to those people uh, from some of our teams like Marco, QB, Wuxi, and uh, some from Pangu like we know, and also uh, Luca, and uh, also one of my classmates who works in Google uh, to to provide some insights on the exploitation. Uh, so uh, we will do a demo. We do demo here uh, to save some time because we know that the spring takes some time, especially on this low end, uh, not low end, the memory is restricted and uh, the CPU is very slow in this MacBook. So the live demo is too time consuming. We will do a video demo here and uh, we, I will release the the full exploit, exploit code uh, in a few weeks in the in the GitHub, and uh, the Blizzard vulnerability itself will be discussed in Las Vegas Black Hat uh, this, this this summer, and uh, we hope to see you there. And uh, so we can see that we, uh, if you want to know the the details of the vulnerability itself, uh, not the exploitation methods, and of course the exploit of the uh, we can recall that. Uh, uh, to achieve a stable memory layout, uh, let me wait. To achieve a stable memory layout here, actually it takes some work because the KLOC 48 zone is a frequently used in kernel and uh, you, it's, it's somehow hard to achieve a stable kernel layout and uh, uh, we will introduce uh, our other techniques used uh, in this vulnerability in the Blizzard talk. And uh, so, uh, let's do a demo here. And the credits goes to Hans Zimmer for the background music. And I assume he's not here. The community is popped out already. And an uh, interesting ob observation is that uh, uh, you can you actually you cannot pop up a root calculator in user mode. It's very interesting, and you can try it if you do not believe it. 